What's up, horror fans? I'm back with the third episode of What the Fuck Did Sir Sturdy Just Watch? <laughs> you gotta tune in to find out. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? As you can all see behind me, these are the three movies that Surf's already watched today. And um, <laughs> I'll say this. For these three movies, honestly, it's tough. Like, I'll say two were decent. I'll even say one was better than decent. The other was decent, and then the uh, the other one is uh, the third is just shit. It's shit. It sucked. I'm not again. I'm not gonna rate these movies. I'm gonna tell you guys which one I like the most, second most, and the one I did not like at all or like the least. You could say, and same with the cover art. Most, second most, and then the other one was just. This was one of those ones where. I didn't have like three cool cover cases, in my opinion, and three cool movies. I had, I guess you could say two cool movies even. Definitely two cool cases, covers, you know, cover art. And um, yeah, but like I said, again, I'm not gonna review these movies if you wanna hear me review them. And this goes for all my What the Fuck the Search 30 Watch movies. Comment below which one you would like to see me and my co-host or someone review or me, you and my co-host, whoever, one of my co-hosts, whoever, if you guys want to do that, be cool, be fun. So I'm going to start with my least favorite movie, and that to you is this one, to you, I said to you, to me, this one right here. It was fucking awful. I watched the whole thing, yes. Like, watch, kind of glance, listen to it as I'm doing my stuff. But this one was just so bad. And it's disappointing because I have yet to see a fucking cool Easter horror movie. And it's something, like, I know all horror podcasts do it. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I think it's a cool thing. I think it's a fucking awesome thing. And all horror podcasts are out there. Let's keep doing it. I want to keep dropping holiday horror on the actual holidays. I mean, I'll go through some other ones and do a few, like, say, during December, do a few Christmas movies. But on Christmas, I want to drop that gem or whatever, so to speak, or gem. Or not even, not even. But for Easter, I want, because there's so many cool Christmas movies, horror movies. But going back to this one, this one. For Easter, I've seen two Easter movies, and they both suck. The first one, I forgot what it was. And then there was this. I think the worst part of this movie, though, I mean was the look of the fucking bunny, the look of the rabbit, the Easter bunny, the Beaster bunny, whatever you want to call it. It was shitty. It was terrible. Terrible. And I know what you're thinking. Aaron, the cover of this looks awesome. Yes, it is awesome. The cover is awesome. This cover is fucking amazing. Not this one behind me. This cover right here is fucking awesome as shit. The rabbit looked nothing like this. It looked like... um. I don't even know, man. It, it just looked shitty. It looked like a fuck a, bun a bunch of dust bunnies. You know, you're sleeping under your bed and all that shit. You get the dust bunnies, that's what people call them. It looked like a bunch of dust bunnies just kind of clumped together and just molded into whatever that shit fest was. So, yeah, I didn't really like the movie. Um, there was titties in it. That was cool. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you, want, if you want a full rating and all that good stuff, let me know down below, and I will review this movie with a guest or a co-host or whatever. But other than that, that's all you're going to get from me about that movie. Like I am like I said, right? <laughs> Watch at your own risk is definitely not Surf 30 approved. Um, 
it wasn't a boring watch though. It just wasn't. Again, if the rabbit looked better, this movie would have been so much better. I'll say two things: one, if the rabbit looked better; two, or two, if they didn't show the rabbit at all. If it just had the kills and stuff, they didn't show it at all. Maybe bite marks of how a rabbit's bite mark would be, but of course, a lot bigger because it's a giant. But other than that, it, uh, that would have helped some. I'll say that that would have definitely helped some. But it was. Mm. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, as far as movie ratings, one, two, or three, this is definitely the worst one of the three by fucking far. And again, the only way I'd watch this one again is a podcast, probably all three of them. Maybe, but this one is definitely only for a podcast I'd watch this again. So yes. Now on to this one behind me. Abdomable. This one was better than this. Um, the Yeti in this movie, you could tell it was a suit, but it looked way better than the rabbit. Like it, it looked pretty decent. It looked like they actually tried. So I'll give them that for that. And I mean, it was kind of. I don't want to spoil these movies for you at all. It was better than this movie, like I said. <laughs> oh. And probably another movie I'd only watch for podcast reasons. Um, But it does make me want to look into more like Yeti type and Bigfoot movies. This movie does definitely want to make me do that, which I'm going to in the near future, you know, once I come across some. Uh... Again, mm, entertaining-ish, I guess. Cool. You know what? This movie had, out of the three, this one definitely had the best kills. This one had some really, really cool kills. Like, you see the guy kind of, the Donald Snowman kind of ripping people apart and shit. Or Yeti, I can't call him a snowman. Well, I don't know if you call him a snowman or not. But, yeah, the Yeti. So, yeah, it was it was better than this. Um... That's pretty much all I got to say about that one. And last but not least, we have Reaper. And it's Danny Trejo. This movie was the best movie out of the three. This one I can actually see myself watching outside of the podcast. Will I? Probably not. Would I do a podcast on this? Yes. This one with... I mean, if you guys don't request it, I still may do a podcast on this one. That's a maybe. I'm really, really thinking about it. But uh, I think this one was the best out of the three. I've been waiting and thinking for a while after I watched all these movies. I, once I seen the covers of them, I'm like, all right, which one's the best? And obviously, I'll tell you right now, this is not even in the running. This is number three as far as, which I will this time. I'll remember to put the thing up as I'm pointing it out, you know, the cover. This is the worst cover. This is the worst cover to me. Um, out of these two, I've been thinking and thinking and thinking. Oh, excuse me, sorry. And you know what? <laughs> this one has the best cover. It's fucking badass. It's an awesome fucking cover. And I was thinking for a while, because I'm like, this is a cool-ass cover. But we've seen Reapers before. We've seen so many Reapers. And Reapers is badass and as cool as they look. This one could have been a lot cooler and darker looking as far as the cover goes. I think it's fucking awesome. Don't get me wrong. Would I wear it on a shirt? Hell yeah. Would I wear this on a shirt? Fuck yeah. Would I wear this on a shirt? Yeah, probably. But my thing is, is like, this one right here, the cover was just, I'm like, holy shit. Like, the cover, I was like, yes, I want to see this because of the cover. This cover is fucking awesome. Hopefully the movie's awesome. And then you go in the movie, no, it's not. So this one is definitely the best cover. The Beast, the Beaster Bunny has the best cover. It was a beast as far as the cover goes. As far as the movie went, this cover, number two, easily. I thought about it for a while, but you know what? This one is quite a bit better than this one. So it goes Beaster Bunny, Reaper, then this. As far as covers go, and as far as movies go, it goes Reaper, 
abdominable, and then this. So again, um, these all three of these movies, I would say you should check them out. I don't recommend them. Watch at your own risks. Uh, none of them get a search thirty stamp of approval. This one almost did. This one, if I rewatch it again and do a podcast on it, it might. But I don't know if it will or not. It was borderline. Maybe a little bit less than maybe less than borderline. But it was, yeah. It. Uh, I don't know because you know what. I take that back because this one didn't really seem too horror movie esque to me. To an extent, yes, I guess when shit starts happening. These two definitely horror esque. These two? Well, sorry. But, I don't know. Um, Yeah, so, take what you will with that, I say. And, uh, fuck. <laughs> if somebody knows an awesome Easter horror movie, please, please let me know. Because I would love to do a podcast on it and have something dropping for 2021 Easter. So, movie or movies, let me know. And I can, you know... Because I don't want to have to come back to this movie and do it for Easter. I want to see something that's way better, something that's more entertaining, something that's actually entertaining. And with that being said, thank you for watching. <laughs> just wait for the next episode of What the Fuck Did Sir Thirty Just Watch? Oh, and uh, yeah, be on the lookout for some more podcast episodes, of course. I got two more dropping this week. So be on the lookout for those to watch and to listen to. Thank you all for watching again. You know where you can find me is on YouTube, Horror with Surf Sturdy. Facebook, Horror with Surf Sturdy. I have a Facebook group where you can feel free to share anything and everything horror related, including your own stuff. I have a Facebook page that's strictly for the podcast. Any type of podcast videos that I drop will go on the page. Videos like this will go on both. Um, I said the YouTube. Uh, my P, not PSN, Twitch, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. Uh, if you ever want to be on this podcast, shoot me an email, horror with sir dot sturdy. Again, that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. There's something else. There is something else. Oh, where you can listen to the podcast. Anywhere you listen to the podcast, iTunes, Spotify. I know Joe Budden's leaving, but I'm not. Um, Podbean. Everywhere else that trickles in between and down and all that good stuff. I'll be on Amazon and Podcast Network thing soon. If I'm not already, I filled out the thing. I'm just waiting for some stuff. But uh, yeah, so anywhere you can listen to podcasts, you can hear me. And again, horror with sir dot sturdy. Again, that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. Check it out. Shoot me an email. Got awesome things coming up in the background, which will be announced within the next week or two, hopefully. So be on the lookout for that as well. As always, I'll see you in your nightmares. <sighs> Water is refreshing. Drink some bitches. <laughs> <laughs>